Hey, so uh, in this next tutorial we're going to talk about putting little fillets on these edges just to round the stuff out. This definitely got put on a belt sander at some point, so even though these edges are sharp, they're not razor sharp. And if you have razor sharp edges on something that isn't a razor, it can bake a little weird or uh, you know feel a little bit low poly on your, your geometry. So it's always a great idea to come in and kind of add this stuff where it's appropriate. Like I think these edges here on the inside are actually pretty sharp. Uh, obviously the blade is going to be sharp, but almost everything else is going to have just a tiny little bit of a round to it. So let's let's take a look at the geometry here. And actually, before I do this, there's one little thing I forgot, which is, let's see, where what side is it? There's a little, yeah, that little circular punch out right there. So I'm going to add that real quick. It's because it's super easy. So I'm going to sketch, create sketch. So now I'm kind of locked into this plane. And I'm going to delete this. Go back to the left, and we'll go to uh, create cylinder. And I'm just going to start the cylinder right there. And I'm going to make it a new body because I've got my blade in there, and I don't really want to worry about it, making sure I don't extrude into the blade shape. But if I if I do an extrude or a, a combine, I'll be fine here. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show you with combine too, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go uh, modify combine, select this shape. And then for my tool body, I'm going to obviously grab the uh, cylinder here, but I'm going to select Keep Tools. So what that means is I'll get the cut out, but I get to keep my, my negative shape too. Uh, and then I'll do uh, Modify. Oh, that's actually part of the same thing. I was thinking that this piece and this were actually different geometry, but I guess they are actually welded. So I didn't need to keep this. Uh, I can go ahead and, and uh, delete it. But just so you know, it's there. If you need to uh, uh, keep a cutting tool around, it's very easily done. So what I'm going to do is just grab like a few of these little edges inside here, kind of on both sides, and go modify, fill it, let's see if like a 0.5 looks okay. That's a little bit too much. So maybe like 0.25, I mean it's very very small and, and you know up in these areas where it starts getting kind of close to that chamfer I may even I may even move these features around a little bit because I'd really prefer that there's at least a little bit of breathing room in there, but I'm not going to record that stuff because it's pretty straightforward. But uh, coming in here, all of these little faces and edges. Let's go ahead and round some of that stuff off. So when you get into some of these areas here where it starts getting real tight, you can definitely run into errors where it just doesn't want to give you a fillet. And that's just because you have uh, just too complicated of a surface. But I'm going to give it a shot. So if you do have scenarios like this where you have like, hmm, not sure about that spot, you probably don't want to have a giant chain that you've selected uh, because if it doesn't work, you'll just have to select the whole thing again. Uh, but apparently, I cannot be reasoned with, so I just can't help myself. So let's do a uh, modify, fill it, and say 0.25, cross our fingers, awesome. Cool. Let's come over here and take a look at that. Yeah, no problem there. So uh, let's come over here and do the same thing on these outer edges. So I'll just do these last ones on the video, and then I'll, I'll pause it and, and uh, go crazy and show you the final result. You can also do a drag select, which in a situation like this would be obviously a far superior option. And that last one, hmm, not so sure about, but let's give it a shot. So 0 0.25, yeah, didn't like that, so I'm gonna actually do a shift select on those to deselect them. And we'll try that again. Okay, so that time it worked fine. That's not surprising. It gets, you, you get into these, these kinds of areas up here and, and you, you know, stuff gets a little bit weird. So anyway, uh, hang out for a second and I will be back momentarily with a nicely filleted uh, model here for you. Okay, so I got a bunch of it done, uh, and now I want to show you how I fix a few things, namely this piece and this piece here. 
So the issue is it's cutting through and it really needs to get scooped down just a little tiny bit. So I can basically select the feature and then scroll back here to my history to find where it kind of happens. So it's right there. So I can right click and go to, actually I suppose I need to be on the other side of it. So now I can do edit feature and it is set to cut here. I'm gonna actually set this to new body. And what this allow me to do is I can move it around. So I'm gonna go to my side view and regardless of what I see in the concept, I'm just gonna scoot it down a little bit. And now I need to basically run through and do some cuts again. So I'm gonna do a modify combine between this piece and our new cylinder. And I'm gonna select keep tools. And then I'm gonna do a modify and a combine between the middle piece and that cylinder, set it to cut and set it to keep tools. And then I am going to do the same thing one more time, combine this guy, the cylinder, and now turn off keep tools. So now that has been scooted down a little bit, I can come over here and go modify and fill it. And put a little fillet on there. And it does not interfere with that chamfered surface anymore. So now if I kind of roll back up here, we can see I'm still going to run into an issue up here, most likely. Oh, I maybe didn't need to fill it that. It's possible I kind of double fill it. Yeah, so that's that feature there. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. When you see something in your history uh, that is red, that means it didn't work. So you can pretty much, especially if it's at the very end, you can just delete that. Whoops. Um, so now I need to scoot this thing down. And what I'm going to do is grab the uh, the, the screw shape here, That's maybe body two, no. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to find things, yeah. So let me hide that. And I'm going to just come in and, you know, select this inside surface here and then scroll back in the history until I find it. So now I can do edit feature. And there it is. Now if I actually go back a little bit further, here is my mirror, right? So. Um, I'm actually going to go back to, let me grab my my slider here. Sorry, what I want to do is not edit the feature. I want to actually roll the history marker there and then actually hop over to the other side of the mirror function so that I can just move this one piece here. And I'm just going to scoot it down a little bit. Uh, looks like I've already got a cut there. So that's gonna be, geez, I'm not even sure, but we can fix it. So, but this needs to move. Just down a little bit's fine. And now we can come back. Let's see, there may, there may be some shenanigans as a result of that hole already being there. So I'm gonna go and fill it, just cause I'm here, so I'll hide that. And we're going to go to create and cylinder. Click on that surface. Whoops. Try it one more time. Create cylinder. Go out to the edge. And just let me zoom in a little bit so I get better control. Okay. All right, so that hole is now filled. I have this piece here. And now I can move forward with my history and let's just kind of make sure everything's working the way we would expect it to. Okay. So, and I've still got this piece and I guess, right. So there's going to be some deletes here and that'll be what those are. Bam. Uh, hmm. Well, it didn't work last time, but just for laughs, let's see if I can actually mirror this over. So modify, uh, create mirror, Grab the pattern type. It's being a little bit picky. We'll grab the work plane there. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's fine. Uh, and I think I'm just going to have to back up here. And I'm going to just delete these, or yeah, delete those few features. And let's just roll up to the future here. 
You can just right click on your last one and go to roll history marker here. And it'll rethink everything for you. So obviously this little screw here is gonna get need to get moved down a bit. Let's see, I'm gonna figure out what is what over here. And it yeah, we definitely don't want to get rid of those. Which one are you? Maybe in here? Sometimes they like to hide. So rather than delete, I'm gonna hit remove. Man, it just does not want to keep that feature. So that's fine. I'm just gonna cut it again. So modify, combine, you and you. Alright, there we go. So now I still have these two pieces and I can just remove those. So, uh, it can be a little bit hairy going back in time, but it, it's also really, really powerful. I mean, there's, it's so nice to not have had that, you know, that close stuff there be so inflexible that I, I couldn't move it. And now I can come over here and just grab these two bodies, these two bolts here, We'll do a move. Hit OK. So I also noticed a couple of little things like there needs to be a circular cutout for this bolt, which will allow it to kind of scoot in further. And you know, there's kind of an endless amount of polish that you can do on models like this. But that is the basic workflow for working in Fusion 360. You set up a little uh, reference and um, start with some large forms and add more and more detail and, and then a, a lot of this stuff can actually be built off of your original forms, for instance little spacer here. Um, I really like this program and I think it's super powerful and uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. So thank you very much.